Okay, let's talk about relationship problems. There are a gamut of relationship issues and problems that couples have, whether it be money problems, intimacy problems, time problems, parenting problems, in-law problems, right? These are kind of like the big five, and there's a couple more, but when couples call me, I know that they're probably gonna name one of these top five, right? We, we keep, our intimacy is off, our physical connection is off, or our ability to open up and share is off, or our ability to talk about money is off, or our parenting and, and styles of parenting. We have conflict around this a lot. But here's the, here's the interesting thing. Uh, if you look at all these five problems, what do you notice that these five issues all have in common? And, and maybe you haven't thought about it this way, but if you look at these five problems, you look at my hand, each one representing these five issues, they're all connected to my palm. They're all connected to my hand. The hand is actually, the root of the problem, if you will, is actually the issue. Or another way to put it, if you look at a tree and it has all these branches and limbs and it has, it's like a fruit tree, let's say, right? And you, you go and you go, oh, these apples are bad, right? And a good gardener, We'll say, well, the problem for these trees and the bad fruit is got to be in the roots and the soil. Some people, though, mistakenly think, well, let's let's spray the tree with something. Let's spray the apple with something, right? And that kind of fixes the issue. But let's look at the heart. The heart of most couples' problems tends to be feeling safe and feeling connected and feeling like they can talk. That's emotional safety, or in research terms, we call it emotional attunement. Emotional attunement. Emotional attunement is how we emotionally attune and connect to each other. So the other week, a couple calls me and we have a session. And within our hour of time, the couple initially starts within the first 20 minutes or so. They tell me that their sex life isn't very good and they're fighting about sex all the time. They're like, please don't even get us started on that. Then they start talking about money and they say, oh, we fight about money all the time. He's, he's a rampant spender and I feel controlled by him. And she's, you know, constantly trying to save and, 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 and puts money over here. And I don't know what's going on. And we fight about money all the time. And, and then I ask about their kids and they're like, oh my God, we can't even get on the same page when it comes to kids. We have some really toxic blowups with the kid in front of the kids about how we parent with the kids. And then I ask them about kind of how they, their family and stuff. And oh my God, we, we really don't work that out very well. And as I'm listening, I can watch them kind of escalating and starting little fights and bickering here and there. And then 20 minutes or so into our session, I say, hey, you know, if you kind of take a look at all these issues, I would suggest to you to consider that it probably feels overwhelming. You know, you got so many different things going on and today you're calling me to kind of help maybe reduce the conflict and simplify it. And if it's all right with you, can I suggest that your biggest issue is not the money, not the kid fights about parenting fights, not the allocation of time and how you guys spend time fights or the vision of chores and the home fights or fights about family, extended family. Can I suggest that this is kind of like a five headed dragon and at the heart, this is how we're ultimately going to kill this dragon is getting to the heart, getting to the root of the issue. And can I suggest that you guys are lacking emotional attunement, emotional safety in order for couples to feel safe or rather to not escalate and not get in these big arguments. They first really need to feel safe. I need to feel safe that I can share with you what's going on and that it won't turn into a bigger fight. If, if I don't feel safe doing that, I'm more likely to yell. I'm more likely to scream. I'm more likely to escalate. I'm more likely not to listen to you. I'm more likely to explain to you more about me and I'm more likely to be defensive. Now we start getting all this stuff and at the root of all these issues, right? And, and if you identify with this wonderful, if you sort of identify with this, I just want you to think about it anyways, that the common issue that most couples suffer from is lack of emotional safety or lack of emotional attunement. And this is a, this can be a really hard skill to develop quite often. It requires intensive uh, couples coaching or counseling to help kind of pick out the little nuances. That being said, and, and there are courses and things that we have over at Lasting Love that can help you get these skills and develop them. 
but I want to give you something right now. One of the ways that we get emotional attunement is we put ourselves in that person's shoes. And, and it can be really hard, right? If your partner says, hey, you're, you're a jerk or, you know, you, don't never, you never listen to me. Well, I'm not a jerk, right? I'm going to argue against that or I'm, I'm, I'm not always not listening to you, right? This, this can be really hard sometimes to put ourselves in somebody's shoes. But if for a moment we can do this exercise, and here's the exercise I want you to do, is if your partner says something, I want you to imagine what it would be like to feel what they're saying. So if your partner says, you never listen to me, you're a jerk and, and you don't ever pay attention to me, obviously I'm gonna feel startled, I'm gonna feel like a deer in headlights. But I, I want you to take a, take a breath and I want you to imagine, what's it feel like to be your partner when they're saying that? If you could be inside their body and register how their heart is beating, how their mind is thinking, how their tension in the body is moving, if you could put yourself in their shoes and, and you know your partner's history, maybe different things have happened in your partner's life that make them feel that way. And maybe it's not completely true what they're saying, but that's not what I'm interested in. I'm not interested in truth. I'm interested in experience. That's what I want you to start thinking anyways, is if I, if I could feel what my partner is feeling and I could be in their body, what would I be experiencing? Now, when your partner calls you a jerk, you might be able to say, wow, it seemed like you were really charged and sad when you said that. And I hear you. I'm going to promise you the reason why you don't have emotional attunement or maybe you have escalating fights is because you're not doing that or you're not getting that. Maybe you think you're doing it, but the truth of it is, is it doesn't matter if you think you're doing it. What really matters is that your partner feels it. And the way that we can communicate to our partner and let them know and give them the feeling of emotional, the, the feeling of emotional attunement is more important than anything else here. The feeling of it, right? Because emotional attunement means I feel that you're tuned into my emotions. I feel it. Not you feel it and, and you tell me that you're doing it. What matters is that I feel it. That's what you're looking for too, right? If you're watching this video, maybe you're thinking, yeah, I really want my partner to emotionally attune to me. I want my partner to tune into how I'm feeling and know me. That's why we're having relationship problems. I, you know, now when I think about it, Luis, we're, we might fight about money, sex, our kids, our in-laws, our finances, our home, whatever it might be. And at the heart of it, all these problems share one root issue, and that is the emotional safety, the emotional attunement. Now, if you feel like you're giving that, I'm going to challenge you and say it's not just about you feeling like you're giving it. It's about your partner feeling like they're getting it, just like you. Because I bet if I asked your partner, do you understand how your partner feels? Do you understand how your spouse, uh, why your spouse is this or that? They might say yes. But now if you're saying no, we got, we got conflict, right? So what I'm going to encourage you to do is one, if this video resonated for you about emotional safety and attunement being kind of the, the palm or the connecting thing that's moving all these different problems or the root issue that's creating all these different branches of issues and problems, if that connects for you and you feel safe to do so, share this with your partner, right? Not, not at like, hey, here's where you're messing up, but like, hey, here's a video that really made me think about something that we can work on, right? Here is a goal that we can make as a couple to create more emotional safety, more emotional attunement. Now, like I said, this can be a hard goal to attain and it takes consistent, constant commitment and practice. And that is why if you're watching the video right now, I want you to take it a step further. I've suggested that you share this with your partner. I've suggested that you really try to put yourself in the experience of your partner's experience of, of your partner's feelings or their story. Put yourself there. But now I want you to take it one more step further. I want you to click the link here and check out the free training that we have on how to save your marriage. This is a training that's completely free to you. Whether you're married or unmarried, it doesn't really matter because I'm using the word marriage to signify commitment. If you are in a committed relationship and you want to be in it tomorrow and the next day and the day after, if you're in a committed partnership, as far as I'm concerned, 
you are most of the way there as far as marriage goes. You, you can be married without ever doing the vows, right? That's, I just want to make that clear that the save your marriage free training is for couples that are in committed partnership and they want to be together for the long haul and they're trying to get some tools. So check out the save your marriage training and I'll see you over there.